Welcome back to historical conflict. As you know, in 1946, there was a battle between nationalists and communists for the fate of China. Successor Sun Yat-sen, Deng Jiaxi, fought for a democratic China, while his rival, Mao Zedong, fought for a communist China. By 1950, Mao Zedong's communist army won, turning all parts of China communist except for Hong Kong. Deng Jiaxi then fled to Taiwan, where he then became president. Here's a short clip of what happened at the end of the Civil War. You know, I just knew China needed a communist government and I just knew that I could be that leader to lead the communists. Um, you cheated, so... <laughs> Says the loser. Considering how communism is just full of equality, I feel like I felt so blessed that China was communist and still is communist and the nationalists lost. And I, I'm, I feel so good that the, the leader that is rising up against nationalism and taking the grasp of China's government and being communism is me, Mao Zedong. Okay, so Jane, what is your response to that? Um, nationalism is the best type of government ever. Like, we are so proud of our country that we would do anything to do it, okay? Make it right. Unlike communism, where People starve to death. <laughs> so Mao, do you know about the two billion dollars? Yes, I did. And it's such a pity that nationalists try to invade China and win against me, <laughs> Mao Zedong, with two billion dollars and they lost. Do you know what they spent that money on? Beanie babies. So Jay, is that true? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I used it for I used the two billion dollars for China to rebuild its military, industrialize. Come on, we have like railroads now. So, <coughs> Jane Jeshi, can you describe how you lost then? Um, we didn't lose. We're still scanning today. Taiwan is still on Google Maps. Do you have internet, huh? But we do. Um, can you compare the size of China to Taiwan? You want to compare size? And can you describe how many countries are communist now, despite the Truman Doctrine talking about how he tries to contain communism? Um, well, there's like two, okay, so... So, let's see. <laughs> China, Korea, Cuba, and... <laughs> um, Vietnam was like... I'm smoking up, so shut up. You don't even like Vietnam. So like Vietnam? Um, what about your so powerful ally, the Soviet Union, huh? We crushed them. So what happened to Vietnam? JJ got roasted. 
I thought there was one thing to be scared, but there's two. Okay? Communism only looks good on paper. Now you're all about equality and freedom. Right, huh? People are like dying over there, okay? Your new ideal plan, um, it doesn't fix anything. People are like trying to escape, right? Okay? To North Korea. That's how bad it is. You wanna be fight? Sure. You wanna So oh, what's the Truman Doctrine about? Oh, the Truman Doctrine, it just states how the U.S. will fight against communism in every country. Like, like, Vietnam, Korea, China. So, do you know about what Jane Jesse did? Oh, let's well, not talk about it. Why not? What happened? Well, Jane Jesse spent the two billion dollars that I got for corruption, and let's not forget his being a good connection. How do you feel about it? How I feel? I feel so betrayed. You know how hard I worked for those two billion dollars? And he just wasted all of it! Okay, that's it. Thank you, President. Thanks for tuning in today for this intense interview. What'd you say? Huh? What? 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 what?